Ooh, I can chop. I can chop the ground. What's up, guys? How you all doing? Hey, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be checking out how to set up Minecraft pie but it's not what you think we're going to be coding and building our own world basically so this is going to be a series so we need a few videos in this this will be the first one of quite a few so hopefully you stay tuned because it's coming up right here right now on mi sperry okay guys so welcome to our video here on the minecraft Pie edition. I know this is going to be something kind of interesting. It's out of my comfort zone here because I've never messed with Minecraft. Um, I'm definitely a gamer. I play video games. At least I played a ton when I was younger, but never really got into Minecraft. I'm kind of surprised that Minecraft is making such a huge comeback uh, the way that it's been coming back. I mean, I'm kind of blown away. My son <clears throat> has probably every edition that there is. This uh, edition was built for the Raspberry Pi to help in uh, entice children to start working in programming and coding and things like that while also playing and utilizing one of their favorite video games that is on the market right now which is good old minecraft so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be checking out how to actually program in this so you basically can fire this up you find it in the uh games section in fact uh, minecraft kind of bogarts the screen here so i'm going to minimize it so you basically find it in the game section and minecraft pi it basically comes i think it's after uh, the 2014 version of Raspbian, I can't remember which version that was, but basically anything 2014 or later. Um, right now I'm running the Buster uh, version of Raspbian, uh, will come with Minecraft Pi Edition. So <clears throat> basically what it will do is it's basically a Minecraft. So if we go ahead and create a new world, it'll build our terrain and whatnot. And, uh, but the cool part is you can attach Python to it. So like usual, uh, WASD controls, uh, your basically movement. Uh, so you got strafing with A and D and W and S are forward and backward. Now you can jump with the space bar, but you can also fly if you double jump. So then you can actually use the space bar to go up and you can kind of fly around essentially. Now, if you want to go back down, you can double jump again. You'll go right back down. All right. Now you can press E. That is your inventory. So this gives you the stuff that you can build. Um, so you can build your fences or whatever you're going to do. Da, 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 except I screwed that up. Get rid of that. Um, and you can build whatever you want to build using the Minecraft build structure. So basically what this is, it's basically a world builder. So you basically do the world building. But then when it comes time, you want to code it. That's what's coming up next. So to go ahead and get us started in the coding, I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to leave it right here. So I'm gonna press the tab key to release my uh, cursor and I'm gonna move this kind of out of the way. I'm gonna move it down over here. Well, I'm gonna move it up here for a minute so that way we can still see it. So the first thing that we're gonna do, like any other programming language, is we're gonna do a hello world. Now, for this, we need Python 3, which should come installed. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a Python script and since we are doing this, and I'm sure a lot of children may get into this. I'm going to use Nano. Normally I use VI, but I'm going to use Nano, so that way you can uh, see how it works. So we need to create a blank uh, Python script. So I'm going to do Nano, and we're going to do getting started.py. You can name it whatever you want, but just make sure you put the .py after the end of it. So once we get into there, what we need to do is we need to import the Raspberry Pi library. So to do this, we're going to type from uh, MCPI for Minecraft Pi. We're going to type import, then Minecraft. Okay, and that will import all the libraries that we need for this. Next, we're going to need to set an MC variable equal to our Minecraft dot mine craft which capital capital m on that one dot create so what this will do is this basically grabs a handle to our video game that we have uh that's right here on the side here that i'm looking at that i'm running around in right now so that grabs basically a, a handle to it next thing we need to do let's go ahead and we'll print out something uh we'll print out our normal hello world like we do any other programming language uh, we will print uh, hello world out so we're going to do that in the chat uh for minecraft so to do that we're going to do an mc we're going to call our variable dot post to chat and this is the function that we're going to use now we can post whatever we want. it's kind of like a printf or you know uh see out or whatever you want to call it so we're going to say hello world 
Make sure you do it in quotes. And that's it. So now we're going to do a control O to save it. It's going to ask us to save it to the same name. We're going to say yes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up another tab. Grab a new uh, grab a new tab here. And we're just going to do a Python getting started dot PY. All right. Hit enter. And of course, I did something wrong. I, I said create instead of create. Engineers cannot spell, just so you know. Now let's go ahead and run it again and watch the screen over here. The screen that's 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 right here, because I'm it should print this out uh, on the screen. So I'm gonna hit enter. And there we go. You see hello world show up uh, down there below. So there's our hello world. So we can at least do hello world. <laughs> so you can print out anything that you would like. Uh, to print out on this. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at some more in-depth things. Now, another thing that you want to do is you want to check out, uh, basically get your bearings in the world. So coordinate systems is a big deal. Now, uh, like I was showing my son, uh, you got to do X, Y, Z pairs. So there is going to be three different dimensions to all of this. Okay. So if looking at like a side scroller game, Okay, so let me grab uh, let me grab something for you guys uh, to kind of try to illustrate this. Let me just grab some good old uh, Microsoft Paint, and I'll see if I can't maybe uh, illustrate this a little better for you. Okay, so using Microsoft Paint, I'm going to try to illustrate this to you guys. So basically, let's say we have a graph here. Okay, this is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. Okay, so if I got tick marks, one, two, three one two three let's say and i put a point at one two and up one and i'm going to put a point right here so that's a point that point the coordinates to that point is two comma one because i went two this is hard to draw with the mouse i went over two in the x direction this is the x coordinate right here this is the Y coordinate right here, okay? So I went over two and up one, okay? So that's the X, Y plane, okay? As I'm standing, let me uh, let's see here, click on it. As I'm standing here, I'm moving when I walk around. Let me get up here on a flat spot here. Hold on, I'll find a flat spot. I need stretch spot. Okay, when I'm moving forward, backward, side to side, that is basically in the X, Y plane. The way they define it uh, is basically if you are in, in, you know, in this instance, it's the X, Z plane, actually, excuse me. So going into your monitor is positive Z coming out of your monitor is negative Z. So basically when I walk forward is positive Z walking backwards is negative Z. Okay. Then on the flat spot is the x axis so walking left strafing left and strafing right is the x axis strafing right is positive strafing left is negative okay now for the tricky part is the third axis if i jump up into the air and start flying upwards that is positive y so i'm going up in the y direction now if i fall back down i'm moving down in the z direction okay so or down in the Y direction, excuse me. So Y is up and down, X is side to side, and Z is in and out, okay? So in and out of the monitor. In and out. All right, so when we look at that, we're gonna see if we can't gather the position of our guy. So let's go ahead and jump over here back to our Python script. And we're gonna get the position of our guy, okay? So I'm going to, oops delete that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to create a new variable called pose for position okay I'm going to make it equal to mc dot player dot get pose okay so that's going to grab the position of the player so of, of my guy that's walking around now I'd like to be able to display that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up our chat message and I'm going to say our position is okay then I'm going to add it in. However, it comes in as a, uh, it doesn't come in as a string, so we have to typecast it. So we have to do an str 
on our pose. And what that will do is that will convert it to a string so that way I can actually write it out to the chat. Okay, so we're gonna control O. Yes, we're gonna save it, I'm pressing enter. And then we're gonna move back to our deal and we're going to run it again. Okay, so this time we get our position. So we get a zero for the X or for the Y, okay? Then we get 21.4, oops, we need to do it again. I don't know, how do you, kids, how do you pull up the chat thing? Oh my gosh, all right. I don't know how you pull up the chat like permanently. I am not a Minecraft player. Okay, but you see we're 21.46 in the X, we're 0, 0.0 in the Y, and we're negative 19.6717 is where we are. So basically what I what to test this, what we can do is we can, uh, oops, I gotta click on the game. To test out what this is, is I'll look around here. What I'm gonna do is what's our position now? So let's go back to here. So our position is currently 21, roughly zero and negative 19, okay? So let's go ahead, let's just move forward. So if I'm gonna go in, that should be positive in the Z direction. So we should see the last number update. So let's enter. So our last number is 19.2169, negative 19.2169 and 26.6, okay? I don't know if it updated. Let's go backwards. Let's go backwards a long ways. And then try it again. Okay, see, now it went from 19, negative 19, it went to negative 20 point something. So there you go. So there's your position uh, for your Z, all right? And then the same thing if I walk side to side, like we had, uh, or where were we at? We had 5.5. So if I go over here and I start going this way, we should see it get bigger than 5.5, okay? I even stepped up on a block, so Z probably got bigger. All right, so now it's 4.6, okay? So it actually, actually, I take it back, it got smaller. So it got smaller going that direction, okay? So now, if we look at the, if we jump up in the air and we fly way up in the air, we should see the middle number, the Y, not be zero no more. All right, it's 23.46. All right, so there you go. Now, I know some of you are probably screaming at me that are major, major Minecraft players um, that, well, but Mitch, the uh, the position is right here in the upper right-hand corner. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's pretty tough to see. Yeah, it's not very big, but I don't know if you can see that in the upper, as I'm walking around, see the numbers in the upper, uh, upper left? That is your position, so. There you go. So as I walk around, you can see your position. So there we go. So now I'm moving around. So you can see the position change. But it's nice when you're writing software to be able to gather and collect your position. So that's the reason that I recommend uh, doing it uh, this way with the uh, get position command. All right, guys. So that's all I'm going to do for this first video. We're in about 13 minutes. I like to keep these kind of short. So play around with this. Uh, check this out as well as I've got a reference link down below to Raspberry Pi projects that will let you know how to uh, set this up as well as take you maybe further. So I'll be doing some more videos in this series. Me and my son are playing with this because my son is very interested in it since obviously it's Minecraft. So definitely check this out. We'll uh, we'll continue on and uh, do more and more updates to this. Maybe make some really cool stuff. There's also some, some hardware that you can add to your Raspberry Pi that will actually interact with the game. It's a pretty cool project, so I'm kind of excited to do like a little kind of miniature series on this. So stay tuned and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell because that way you'll not miss any of the updates when it comes to this uh, video series as well as check me out on Twitter and Facebook. I'm on the different socials. So uh, check out the t-shirts down below and also become a patron. Uh, that way you get exclusive content, exclusive deals, exclusive uh, giveaways and all that rot. So check out the Patreon link down below. Um, there's two different tiers. Feel uh, as you as you will. If you want to you know give to that, you can. If not, hit that like button. That helps out the channel just the same as well as check out some of the Amazon links down below and the the uh, channel store. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.